So you want to succeed in life? You want to be what's called a winner in life? Well, I'm going to tell you how I've become successful in a winner. And I'm going to let you know my coming up tips, tricks. Well, not tricks, but tips coming up next. Hey, be sure to subscribe below that little red button that says subscribe. Click on that and go ahead and ring a ding ding, hit the bell so you get notifications on the next upload. And the ones that are in my community, thank you for subscribing. I'm just blessed that you took the time to be with me. So how to be successful, how to be a winner in life? Tip number one, set goals right you hear that all the time set goals all right you need long goals and you need short goals all right the long goals of graduating high school graduating college graduating uh, trade schools doing something is going to take years and years of training to get you out to what you want to do and the long goals now have short goals because sometimes you're going to set a goal and you may not get it, may not get it like you want it, may not win, may, you may lose. And that's okay. <laughs> that's, that's great. Because what have you done? You have benefit from losing because you have learned something that didn't work, right? What did Thomas Edison do about the light bulb? He said, they said, you failed 10,000 times. He said, no, I didn't. I, I found 10,000 ways it won't work until he finally found the way that it will work. So even though you fail, doesn't mean that you're wrong. It just means you've learned something that's not going to work to help you. So get away from that area. And also, when losing like that or not reaching a goal, it makes you determine how bad do you really want something. You know, is it worth this little small goal to be able to look at the big picture and get the big overall goal? If you can still achieve what you want in the long run, don't worry about the small thing then. Kick it out. But if it's a necessity that really has to be there, now you can alter because you've learned what wasn't working. You can alter it somewhat a little bit and still come back to it and attain that goal to keep moving forward. Now, I like to also, when I'm setting especially short goals, put in a time frame on them. You know, whether it's a week, a day, I want to get something done in an hour. All right, hey, believe it or not, when you're setting goals, it's as simple as going shopping. What do you do? Neither mentally you've got a shopping list in your head or you're carrying a shopping list. And the goal is to find everything on that list. And neither go and get it done as quick as possible and get back home or stroll around, take your time, and still get it. But there's one goal, write out a sheet and accomplish what's there. I also believe in writing down your goals. That's what I was getting to. Write down your goals so you can see. And again, put a time frame which you like. If it's going to take you, you say, maybe three months to accomplish whatever you're going to do. And say three months get here and you didn't get it. And now you're going, but it took me four months. That's okay. Again, you're not going to win on time all the time. If it takes a little longer, that's cool. But after the three months, you go, huh, I don't know if it's really worth that or not. It's up to you to decide this. No one else can do it for you. All right, so write down the goals. I also like to, when I'm uh, setting goals, for instance, when I was going to college, you get your student catalog, tells you what courses you got to take to to graduate. And at the beginning, I used to just mark them off as I'm going along, take classes and mark them off. But then I started thinking, let's be more positive about this. All right, let's put the date that the classes were attained that you passed the class and to be even more positive i decided to put the grades out beside each class i got an a here a b here yes i got c's in my classes before believe it or not i even got a few d's all right but on your diploma it doesn't say it doesn't say hey he made four d's and still graduated no it doesn't it says graduation and has earned a degree doesn't say your, your GPA on there. So, but I would do that just, just for 
inspiration. I look and go, boy, look at that. I got that great hire and I thought I would get. Oh, and, and then put the, again the date. And now you can see the list getting shorter because you've accomplished much more. So I like to do that as well. Also, when you win, have little parties and everything. Again, when you got a long goal ahead of you, you need to win a bunch of short goals, short-term goals, to be able to build up a little resume type thing to be able to celebrate that you're moving towards everything. I had goals when I wanted to learn to dress myself. When I was finally learning to redo and everything, get strength up enough, I would tell myself, I'm going to learn how to do this in eight months. And then if I got done in four months, that would be great. If I got done in nine months, that was even great. So, and I learned, I had I really learned to dress myself sitting in my wheelchair. That's how I had to do it. It was just too hard to me laying down in bed like some people do it. And it was more power to them for doing it, but that just wasn't for me. So I had to learn to redress myself sitting in my wheelchair. Next, the old saying, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. Practice, practice. Number two here, practice what you want and move forward. Now, a lot of athletes, they practice, 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 which is awesome as well. Okay. Now, just to go out and shoot around, uh, say you're doing, just to goof around with a club and, and say you're doing golfing, just to pitch a ball and throw on it. No, you need more than that. You need someone to help you with everything on that need a coach or a mentor as well. That's another step. Coach or mentor is to help you get through what you need. They can tell you what you're doing wrong. Let them observe you. Now, you need to, when you're practicing, you need to make mistakes. If you're just barely going through everything and you don't make mistakes and you're dribbling and you go, look how good this is, that's not going to help you in a game when you're going 100 miles an hour. You need to practice at 100 miles an hour and goof up so you can learn from those mistakes. Same thing in life. You need to go at it full force with full self, full, full control of what you want. More power and, and, and look at everything that you're doing. So those are a few of my steps again that uh, set goals. Write them down. Put a time frame on them. Mark them off somehow to see that you accomplished these goals. Get you a mentor or whatnot. Practice, practice, practice. Those are just a few suggestions on how to be successful or a winner in life, as we like to call it. Hey, thank you for being here. Be sure to subscribe down below. Give me a thumbs up. This, this thumb doesn't work as well. Give me a thumbs up. This one I can put up there. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. If you uh, didn't, give me a thumbs down. Cool. Thank you and everything for being here. But please write something below that's going to help me improve. Thank you, everybody. Do something today, tomorrow, something next week that's going to help you persevere past your paralysis.